Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, we were dealing with chapter 2 that is nationalist movement in Indochina. Okay, so in our last class, we discussed about uh, how religion influenced nationalism in um, Indochina, okay, particularly in Vietnam. Okay, and we even discussed about the Hu Hao movement. And later, we went on to talk about uh, the modernization which was taking place in Vietnam. Okay, so today we will be looking into the influences of Japan and China. Okay, so this country, how did these um, two countries, that is Japan and China, influence the freedom fighters of Vietnam or um, help the people of Vietnam in fighting their battle against the French people? Okay, so we will be looking into that one by one. So here, okay, we will be talking much about the influence of Japan and China, how Japan and China influence the Vietnamese people to fight against independence. Okay, so what happened was we have been studying about Ban Poi Choi from the starting of the, you know, chapter. Okay, Ban Poi Choi was a person, okay, who was trained and educated in the Confucius way, okay, and he was the one to protest or to go against the French people. And so, by 1905, he started living in Japan, okay. So, what happened was, while he was staying in Japan in 1907, okay, what happened was, Ban Poi Choi organized a society, Okay, a society of young students, about 100 or more of them, okay, who were settled in Japan. Okay, Vietnamese students settled in Japan. He called them up, he organized a society, and this society was formed mainly to fight against the French domination over Vietnam. Okay, Pan Poi Joy's main motive was, okay, like any other country, you know, the old people will not be taking sides. Okay, so what happened was, students, they were very much active. They knew about independence. They knew about, uh, you know, freedom. So what happened was, Pan Poi Choi used these tactics and he organized the society of young minds and young students in order to fight for the independence of the nation. Okay, so what happened was, these young people, okay, what happened was, they wanted to fight for themselves, they wanted to fight for their rights, okay, they didn't want to be called as Cochin Chinese, Ananis, or Tokinese, okay, these were the names, okay, which were labeled to the Vietnamese students by the French people, not only to the students, but to the Vietnamese community by the French people, and so the students, they wanted to remove this label, okay, such as Cochin Chinese, Ananis, and Tokinese, Okay, they wanted to be called as the citizens of Vietnam. Okay, so the main objective of this society was to remove the French domination. Okay, was to remove the French um, rulers from the nation and that they wanted to restore back the power of the Vietnamese dynasty. Okay, or you can say as the Nguyen dynasty. Okay, so the students were really impressed by the work done by the uh, Japanese people. Okay, the Japanese people, they were able to bring modernity into their society and then they were able to, you know, even defeat Russia, okay, in 1904. Okay, so that was what happened and so the students, when they saw that, they also wanted to fight for their nation. Okay, so what happened was, uh, when they saw that, okay, when they saw the domination of the Japanese, okay, doing all this, they wanted to, uh, the Vietnamese student, okay, they also wanted to create another branch of that society, okay, so the branch, another branch was started off, okay, it was known as the Restoration Society, which was created, this was also uh, created in Tokyo, Okay, so but later on in 1905 or 1908, okay, what happened was in 1908, what happened was the Japanese forces, okay, the Japanese forced Pan Poi Chow to leave Japan. Okay, so the Japanese also realized that, you know, Pan Poi Choi was, you know, instigating or, you know, grouping a lot of uh, people. 
okay grouping a lot of people in japan and so what happened was the japanese had to send him away so the japanese forced banpoi choi to leave japan okay and so he, when he was told to leave japan he was deported to china okay so he was deported to china and many of his followers okay many of the students were again sent to exile in thailand okay they were not allowed to stay in japan and again they were also sent to exile in thailand Okay, so what happened was when the society was growing okay the Japanese people they also realized that it was not okay for these people to organize such things in their country and so Panpoi Choi was you know told to leave Japan and he was uh, you know deported to China and those followers those students who were involved in that also were sent to exile in Thailand Okay so what happened was he was um, Banpoi Choi was sent to uh, Guangzhou okay Guangzhou province in uh, China okay in China when he went to the Guangzhou province what happened was he made a great leader of China okay one of the greatest chinese revolutionary who was fighting for chinese independence during that time okay Banpoi Choi got the opportunity to meet Mr. Sun Yat-sen. Okay, Sun Yat-sen was a very influential person because he was fighting for the independence of China. Okay, so what happened was Sun Yat-sen, he was able to remove the monarchy. Okay, the rulers of China and he was able to establish a republic. Okay, a republican form of government was set up in China for a short period of time. Okay, today China is ruled by the communists. Okay, so uh, what happened was Dr. Sun Yat-sen, okay, Sun Yat-sen who was a revolutionary, he was able to replace the monarchical form of government and he established a republican form of government there in China. Okay, so what happened was Pan Poi Choi was really inspired, okay, and he um, set up an association for the restoration of Vietnam. Okay, so uh, an association was formed by Pan Poi Chao. Okay, so what happened was when this association was formed, uh, his objectives also changed. Pan Poi Choi's uh, perspective changed. Okay, first he was just you know he just wanted to remove the French uh, the French colonial rule from the Vietnamese country and he wanted the you know ruling dynasty to take its place. Okay, but now when he saw the Chinese people fighting for their rights, okay, he wanted Vietnam to be a democratic republic okay no ruler should rule vietnam only a democratic form of government should come into uh, into existence okay at first he wanted to remove the french and he wanted to bring the nguyen dynasty back but now the situation was different okay now pam poi choi wanted to have a vietnamese democratic republic Okay, but unfortunately, okay, in 1914, Pan Poi Chow was arrested, okay, by the Chinese, okay, at the instances of the French. The French did not want Pan Poi Choi, you know, um, putting fire on the Vietnamese people against the French. So the French, they told the Chinese police to arrest him, and so in 1914, Pan Poi Choi was arrested, okay, and. In 1917, he was released from the prison and he was sent for eight years to the place called as uh, Hanoi. Okay, he was sent to exile. Okay, in a place called as Hanoi. Oh, like after eight years, he was released. He could not do anything. He could not influence the Vietnamese national movement. Okay, because he was under strict surveillance. And later in 1925, he was kept, uh, kidnapped by the French people, and he was sent to a concentration camp in uh, Hanoi. 
okay and he was sentenced to hard labor he was uh, supposed to work uh, on this concentration camp where he was given different tasks hard tasks to do okay and so what happened was in 19 october 1940 okay he died under house arrest okay so we could see that he could uh, he instigated he started the national movement in uh, you know vietnam but still then okay he could not achieve much as he as he wanted because the french curbed his movement okay and so finally under house arrest he passed away on 19 october 1940 okay so in our next class we will be learning about the different struggles uh, which took place in vietnam okay against the colonial rulers in our next class so we will continue in our next class thank you and have a nice day